Shamrock Rovers fan TV. Now today I have my match reaction to Shamrock Rovers 2, Cork City 1, which put the hoops into the quarterfinals of the FAI Cup. Now we could have played a lot better and we could have played a lot worse. We were playing a Cork team that they have some very good players. They just they haven't been doing well. Then they played well against us. They could have played a lot better and they could have made a couple of decisions that could have changed the game, but they played they played well enough. And the first goal came from Danny Lafferty, who followed up on the rebound from Graham Burke's shot that Liam Bossian saved, which it was a good goal by Danny Lafferty. He played very, very well. I'll get on to him a bit more in a minute. Now, the court got an equaliser 49 minutes in from Gerard Morrissey, who played a great link-up play with it. Dylan McGlade, who put Morrissey in, and it was a great goal. Nothing Malice, but Malice could really do about that. I think our defence couldn't have done much. It was it was a great goal. Um, but I think we defended very, very well for the most of the game. So you can't really, you can't dwell on one thing that went wrong. Now, one of the first things I'm going to talk about is our defence. I thought we did really well. Their striker was quite tall, like six foot five. And we, we don't have a joint defence we have some tall players Roberto and Lee and Joey they're tall but they're not giant so I thought they did really well in the air today and Pico did very well with his tracking back as well when he was up four corners getting right back so well done to them and we thought Gary O'Neill was brilliant he does all the work you don't see on the highlights he's always there for the defence in case they need him and he's very good on the ball He's very composed, so when the defence are in trouble and they're doing well with their pressing, you always have Gary O'Neill to pass to, just like when Greg Bulger was playing. He's a bit like Bulger, they, they're both brilliant. Now the starting 11 was quite a different starting 11 that you'd see on a league game, probably getting prepared for the Bulls game, we don't want anyone getting injured. Dean Williams started and Aaron McAneff, um, Aaron McAneff didn't play, so I thought that was wouldn't happen in a league game. Dylan Watts did play and he did well. I think Dean Williams, well, we do quite a bit of crossing and I don't think that's worked very well. That's another thing that I will be talking about in match previews that hasn't really worked out. But when you are doing crossing, you need a tall striker and Dean isn't very, very tall. Um, So if you want to cross it in about knee height would be great for him just to nick a little goal. Um, he did very well in the preseason games. So... I thought I think he could do very well this season and next season I think he'll be exceptional. But Aaron Green isn't working up front, so I think this game was a great to see Dean Williams just get a bit of game time because I think we're gonna need him soon because we don't have a prolific goal scorer. Aaron Green's a super player, but he's not someone that will get thirty goals a season. Now Dylan Watts, he also played ahead of Aaron McInneff, who I think Dylan had a good game. Dylan had a great game against Finn Harps and the first game back since the restart so I think he hasn't been the same since that game he didn't do too well against Derry but he's kind of getting back on form I think another game another good game in the next game that he does start I think he'll be back on form. Reese Marshall was another player that played and I think he's a super player and I don't think he can be wasted out on the bench. Rowan Finn's that engine that in our team without him we're we're still a good team, but we're not as organised. He's the captain, and he organised all the players. He's the engine, and without him, it's not as organised. So I think Marshall needs to get in the team very soon. It's great that he got some game time, and he did well. You know, the goal came down his side, but there was not much he could do about it. But I think he'd be first in line for if Ronan Finn moved into the midfield. So about our set piece takers, I think Greenberg could possibly be a shout to take the corners. Maybe not the free kicks. I think Jack Burns a great free kick taker. Greenberg is also a great free kick taker, but the corners, I think Greenberg he hits them and plays them very well. So does Jack, but Jack kind of gets a spin on it. And if you don't have a big striker up top, or even we have a big defender, we just need to get it right on their head, which Jack Burns does so many times. But I think Greenberg could put it into the six yard box maybe. Um, and if there's a if someone gets a touch on it, it's in the back of the net. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about who should be taking our set pieces. 
or just free kicks or penalties or quarters just in general let me know and lots of people are asking the question could we win the cup and i definitely think the answer is yes it's just will we win it it's how the players feel and how they turn up because there's going to be some big games we're going to have to play teams like bows and dundalk so if they really want this they will show that they want it and they'll win games so we definitely can yes i think the league has to be put first but it's still a trophy we won it last year the final was we showed great character as we have so many times it's very disappointing that we keep conceding goals in crucial moments nearly um just like the Derry game we went one nil down i'd rather concede the goal when we're three nil or four nil up already but i think we get knocked down quite a lot but we get right back up again and we're great when we when we when we want to win we're a super team it's just we have to want to win every single game now on to my man of the match i think it has to be daniel lafferty berto lopez had a super game as well so they both had very good games lafferty's two goals were great goals and um, the the second goal i think was my favorite it was a great shot nothing mcnulty could have done about it right into the bottom right corner super super goal i think he should be starting over Neil Ferrugia just for now. But I think next season Neil Ferrugia will be a completely different player. The reason he did play, which he might have played anyway if Ferrugia was there. But Ferrugia is away with the Ireland under-21s training. So I hope everything goes well for him and so is Liam Scales. Hope everything goes well for them too. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. Let me know who your man of the match was in the comments and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.